What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It's like, no, this stuff. Actually, no, I like that energy. I like that energy. Hold on. What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing today? So this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, We are trying new things, seeing what people fuck with and don't fuck with. But also at the same time, I'm doing things that we enjoy and so we can have fun with. So as we all know, Father's Day is coming up. So I asked my dad if he had some shoes that he wasn't using or he just wanted to be painted on so I can make some custom shoes for him. So as of right now, um, I do have only two shoes under my belt. This is something I have been trying out newly. I would say maybe for like about a month or something like that. So I would say like, you know, I'm trying to get better at it. Then from there, I could probably make even more videos, maybe even try to sell them, you know, if y'all want to buy some, you know. <laughs> But this is also going to be, I guess, like a tutorial on how like y'all can also make your own shoes if y'all wanted to. So I literally asked Joe, like, what did he want to be painted? Because I honestly had no idea what I could possibly put on the shoe that he would want. So he did say that he had an outfit that looked something like this and that, like, you know, he wanted me to, like, you know, paint that on the shoe. Um, it's something to go with, like, some Nigerian attire. You know, we are Nigerian, you know, gang gang. Shout out to all the Nigerians out there. No cap. But, um. He wanted like, you know, something on there that like pretty much resembled the shoe. So let's see how this looks and let's see if I made a good Father's Day gift. All right, so first things first, this is the most important step is that you want to prepare the shoe. You want to first clean the shoe um, as much as you can with soap and a sponge. Um, just wipe it down, take off any like scuffs, any markings, just clean it as much as you can. And then you want to go ahead and take off the shoe strings um you put them somewhere safe i request inside the shoe that's usually where i put them just for safekeeping because it's like if you have the shoe you're of course going to have the shoe strings inside of it um after that you will want to go ahead and tape them off so you go ahead and tape off any places that you don't want any paint to get on um if you are a pro at this and you can freehand just very good then you don't really have to paint i'm sorry you don't really have to tape um, however, if you are someone that does mess up a lot or you're just starting off, um, taping may be the best just so you don't, like, you know, mess things up. Um, also, you want, once you finish taping things off, you like to go ahead and prepare with the leather preparer and the glazer. This takes off the original factory finish of the um, shoe that it came with. So you'll want to do that. And once you do that, then you can start painting after. So I still got to tape mine off and apply this. And once I do, then I'll be back. All right, so I finished taping off the shoes. I also put the um, prepare and the glazer only half of the shoe, the front half. So I can also show you how you know it's working. Um, if you look here on the back end, it's still like pretty shiny when you look into like the, any kind of light. But if you look at the front end, it's kind of dull. So that's kind of like how you know like the prepare is working. Um, also, if you feel it, the texture is a lot like rougher compared to like the smooth texture of like when it's pretty like, you know, prepared by the factory finish. So that's kind of like how you know like, oh yeah, you're doing that shit right, you feel me? So I just wanna let y'all know that. All right, so once you finish preparing, oh, so once you finish preparing, you wanna grab your colors. Um, I'm gonna use yellow as the base coat because like as you can see in the picture, um, it's mostly yellow and then also yellow is a light color. So anything that I wanna like, you know, also put on it, I can just paint over yellow because it's like just pretty, pretty light. Um, I use uh, Angelus, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but I use um, Angelus as the paint that I use because like they're just pretty, they're pretty good. I mean, they, their paint is made for this kind of like, you know, thing. Um, also like, you know, it's pretty affordable and they're just like the goat. I ain't gonna cap, they do. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, you know, you feel me? All right, so I just finished the first coat, honestly. Um, I just did the, like I said, the yellow coat first. I saw that right here, it was like a little strip. So I was like, I might as well put red. Red is like the most secondary, like, you know, most color on there. So I was like, why not? I mean, I saw the design, I just went for it. I probably would do something for right here too. I didn't peep until I painted over. I might put like the other different colors on here. Um, other different colors, like, you know, the green, the blue, maybe like another red one on here. I just peeped at the last minute. Some phony ideas, like, let me stop. But yeah, you know, let's just start off. All right, guys, so the next thing I've done is I've outlined all the way around with the uh, star pattern. So I can know exactly where I'm gonna paint next. Um, most people, or some people don't have to do it like that. Just me personally for like this design. I just wanted to like outline first where I'm gonna paint and then actually like, you know, paint on it after before I like, you know, have to like retrace or like go back or something like that. So now I'm gonna paint 
on the actual like you know stars the pattern all right so this is the design he wanted to go with the colors that he wanted um the way that he wanted this wasn't exactly how i was gonna do it at first but like after like talking to him about it sometime this is kind of like what he wanted which is perfectly fine um so as you can see like you know there's still some things i need to clean up like i still have this star here from originally what i was gonna do um i still have like some markings right here and things like that so i'm basically done right now with just cleaning up any like excess paints um putting like outlines on some certain things and then um we're basically almost done dang i really just like scribbled everywhere look at that that's yeah, crazy but yeah right now it's just like the cleaning up process and like what we can do with that um next all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are done um i went back around and added maybe like one more coat to like every color of the shoe um i also outlined the pattern just to make it pop out more um i covered up any like you know maybe slight mistakes i did and things of that nature um and i would say the shoe turned out pretty good i even added um an extra design on the uh i believe it's called the tongue of the shoe i mean if you ask me it turned out pretty good and I would say we're basically done. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. This may be like the most important step. Well, I'm not gonna lie, every step in this video is like pretty important, but like this one is actually to like, you know, really, really, really important. So, you have to apply the acrylic finisher. Um, the acrylic finisher is basically like the extra coating on the shoe that um, provides protection from like, you know, the outside world, everyday, you know, activity of like actually wearing the shoes. So um, they have different like, you know, finishes. I chose the acrylic finish because I, I just like the way it looks with like the shininess. Um, but you have to apply that finisher at the end of everything. Um, I would say maybe like about three coats. That's what I did um, just to like, you know, add that finish to it. So like, you know, um, it can be like water resistant and um, just like wear on your day to day life. Um, but that's about it for this video. Um, you know, if you like it, like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.